All right, it's Chris. Hey, we're uh, working on a new project today. We got uh, Mr. Jolly's Coffee Bar. Let's go in and take a look. Start of construction, we got Chris. Chris is a permanent fixture in all of our projects now. Absolutely. He's usually up on the ladder doing as little as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, I called him uh, Sunday night. What time I call you? 8 o'clock. <laughs> he answers. Do you know another electrician that would answer at 8 o'clock at night on Sunday? The football game was over though, right? Exactly. That's all it counted. Exactly. That's right. You, you lose any money? No, sir. No. Okay. All right. We got Virgil. Virgil, say hello to everybody. Hello. That's, that's right. It's our Mr. Jolly episode. So let's take a look at Mr. Jolly. So what we've got is a 1920s, 1930s coffee bar that we're working on. So we're replacing all these booths and banquettes. Steve just left a second ago. They're going to be a dark chocolate, uh, similar to what we have over at Candy. We're doing a four-part paint process on the walls. So what we're doing is we're coming in and we're gonna spray with water bottles. Where's our water bottles? These are water bottles right here. What we do is we take the water bottles and we fill it up about 80-20. So 80-20 paint to water mixture. We'll fill water up to here and then we'll fill the top of the neck up to about there in paint. We do a base coat and then we'll do three or four different coatings. So you'll spray it all the way up at the top, spray it super hard, and we'll show you as we're doing it, and then you just let it drip all the way down. I don't know if you can see the runs. We did a test run yesterday, so if you can see the little runs in here. We did a test shooting yesterday, and then we just came back, repainted it, smoothed it out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill in these little insets right here with uh, the plaid. And then I've got lamps that come out over a top or doing a uh, caramel lamp shade, rewrapping the existing ones that were black. Painted the ceiling a dark chocolate. Very nice, very nice. So this is kind of where we're at. This is gonna end up having uh, big black and white photos from the 1920s, there, there, there. Right here's gonna be our menu. We're gonna do a big giant menu. Uh, chalkboard menu and that's going to be framed and put up there from the 1927 so it's going to say coffee five cents uh, toast eggs seven cents kind of fun stuff like that and then over here we're going to do a big framed menu of our today's menu menu prices i've got some new lamps that we're going to be hanging going to readjust the track lighting to fall directly over the line of all the tables with uh, some track lighting uh and the, uh, the fixtures that we have, we're trying to add dimensions and layers. So we're gonna build that out. So you're gonna have layer of the light, then the paintings and the lamps, and then just onto the wall. So trying to build some layers up. Uh, we're gonna be adding a bunch of bookshelves over this mirror and wrapping around the mirror. What else we got? We got uh, all these walls. This was a purple. You can maybe see that. He painted over the purple up in the corner. So we're going to add a bunch of bookshelves that are going to run straight here all the way up. So there's going to be these bookshelves full of encyclopedias, hardback books, picture books, games. We're going to have tons of games. Uno, backgammon, chess. We're going to have a bunch of shelves just full of all the games. We're going to expand this hole out. We're going to lower this down. We're going to bring this shelf down, and we're going to have a big crepe machine on the inside right there. We're going to have a guy making crepes in there for breakfast. Uh, what do we got going over here? <clears throat> All the backs of these are going to also be filled with the plaid that's over on the other side. So we're going to have plaid panels in there. We're going to have coffee cups. All our beers are going to run along the center. We're going to have all micros. Not going to have Bud, Bud Light, Coors, or Miller. Only going to do micro brews in here. We're going to have our espresso machine sit right here. I have all our coffee cups in the background and, and multiple shelves that are going to be put into here. We're going to do a liquor over on this side. Also our uh, flavors, more coffee cups. Gonna have a couple tap handles. Uh, we're gonna add this right here is chalkboard paint. Now this is a chalkboard paint brown right here. And this is all gonna be our menu. We're gonna start up at the top. We're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna have all our menu items. At the bottom, we're gonna have quiz questions every day. We're gonna have a globe that sits on the end of the bar over here. We're gonna name a city, let people find that city on the globe. So if you come in, you answer the quiz question. Or, we're gonna give you a free cup of coffee. We'll do that once every morning. Try to drive customers in here early. We're gonna add shelves that are gonna go all the way along the top up here. Chris is asked, adding some uh, chandeliers. So here's a couple of chandeliers right there. That's it, Mr. Jolly's Coffee Bar. All right, we're in here. It is late at night, same day. We've got Virgil up here spraying up the uh, the uh, the faux finish. What he's done is he's used the 80-20 mix of paint. He's on his second color, as you can see right here. 
He's got two different colors put up there. He's got the dark, he's got a lighter brown, so he's spraying, he's got two coats on. He's gotta come back and do two more to get the final effect. See, we're trying to get a wood grain effect. As you can see, he was trying to get a wood grain look up there. Of course, as the light hits it, it did it definitely adjust and where it plays off the colors. Virgil, how's it going? How's your it's hand? It's going. Hey. Look at that. That's right. I'll be able to go home. Male skills. And then here we got Chris. Chris actually left for a while. Went, had lunch, took a nap, got paid the whole time, came back. He's on the clock. You know how it works. So, uh, Chris, yeah. what are you doing? No, it works, but... What are you, what are you doing? I'm a ceiling fan. Very nice. Yeah. Three, ce three ceiling fans. Three <laughs> yeah. ceiling fans. I, I got a, I have a monster ceiling fan over here too. This ceiling fan over here is 70 inches. It's the uh, Altura 68 inch ceiling fan. Then I got two more ceiling fans we're putting up. Really neat. You'll see them when they all go up. Oh, the chandeliers are up and in place. I've got three different light bulbs that I'm trying out right now to figure out which one I want to use. A little flickering. I got a 40 watt uh, fluorescent. And I got a dimmable 25 watt fluorescent. I'm trying to figure out what we're actually going to end up with. All right, so we're in here. It is now Tuesday night. So I've already got a light bulb that died right there. I'm a little bit upset about it. Uh, we're in here doing a lot of work. I mean, it. I thought I was going to get away out of here without making this an absolute mess. And it is pouring rain outside. Uh, you can see the rain. It's pouring rain outside, so we couldn't do any cutting outside. So we're in here. Complete disaster. I mean, complete disaster. We're going to have to completely wipe everything down. Got a lot of the painting up. As you can see, the uh, bookshelves are going up into place. The shelves come out, so we, we'll be able to do it just like these ones up here. See, so, yeah, they're all going to be open all the way across for the bookshelves going across. Virgil, how's it going? We're good. Got one shelf up. What do you got? Two more to go? Got one shelf up, and we got three more to go. Got it, three more to go. So Virgil's got uh, a good start on the painting in the back. He's got... Three coats on the back back there. He's got three coats. He's extended the track light up there. You can't really see it that well, but he's got the uh, he's got to come back and he's gonna do one more coat right now. He's gonna come back with really light color, so he can. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. See how you get the overspray when you do it. So he's gonna feed a light color up there, so it'll create the uh, the lines. These lines will come up and down. It'll go all the way to the ceiling. Now we're gonna come down here, we're gonna just get a little brush and we're just gonna fill that in all the way down to the bottom. It's gonna look like a million bucks. See how that looks? It's supposed to look like aged wood. It's kinda getting there. See, there we go. So it looks really good. Just a faux finish and we did it with the spray bottles. Ah, uh, we got the fans all up and running. The fans all look amazing. Look how big this fan is. This is like the monster fan right here. 68 inch fan. Oh, gotta answer the phone.